All right, we're back with another Instagram TV today, and this one is all about a post that Justin actually drafted about the importance of goal setting. And if you're like us, you've probably set goals a bunch of different times in your life, and maybe you've had really specific great goals that you've worked toward and achieved, and maybe you've had some more like general ones, and you can kind of tell the difference between what works and what doesn't. Uh, we share a lot in the post, so you want to hop over and check out the whole thing. And then Justin, we're going to start sharing some tips. We've got four tips for how to create a little bit of energy and fire behind your goals. Yeah, so the first tip is to actually write your goals down and make them very specific and small steps. So you don't want to really write down broad, huge goals like I want to complete a marathon, that might be your overarching goal, but you really want to break those down into small steps. So if you're starting marathon training, you first want to start with running five miles or four miles or whatever is kind of that immediate goal in front of you and really break it down as small as possible so you can check those off and create a little momentum as you achieve the smaller steps of the overall goal. And then the second tip is to declare your goals to other people. So actively share them with other people and make them known. And it'll give you a little bit of accountability, which will create that extra bit of fire underneath your seat to kind of get you moving on the small steps that you established as you wrote down your goals. Yep. Um, and it kind of goes with, step, with this Erica's tip, but also it's to make your goals visible is our next tip to create a little momentum so something that you see every day so whether it's like a sticky note on your mirror or on your computer or a printout that is at your desk at work or even on a board at work or something like that try to make your goal uh, front and center right in front of your face so you see it each and every day and you are it provides you a little extra motivation to remind you to be working on it consistently Yep. And the fourth step is to actually set a deadline. So you don't want goals just hanging over your head for this like indeterminate amount of time. You want to actually set a deadline and work toward it. And it's probably like anything you've done for your job or your work or your family. Like when you have a deadline, you tend to meet it or exceed it. But if you don't have that deadline, it just hangs over your head. So mm -hmm. make it active, set the deadline and get going on it. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, if you're interested, share some of your upcoming 2020 goals with us in the comments, and we'd love to check them out. Thanks.